How many squares do you see here? That's what's known as the area of the region. And our formula says take the base times the height, and that gives you your area. All right? Now, uh, even if you can't see the squares, it's still the length of this base times the length of this height. All right? Now, that's for a rectangle. What if somebody takes away half of the rectangle? This part's gone, and you're left with half. Well, you're, you're going to have half the base times the height, aren't you? All right? And your height now is this length right here. But if you scoot the top part of this triangle over, your height is still the same, okay? But your height isn't this side right here. It's this length right here. It was this length, which I copied right here. Even if you have a triangle that looks like this, your height is still from the top point to right down here, okay? So um, this is now the height, all right? So we want half of the base times the height, okay? Now, what if your base is 3 inches? Let's get rid of this. Your base is 3 inches, and your height, that's this length of this dashed line, is 2 inches. Okay? So the base is 3, the height is 2. All right? So let's copy that up there. Here's our formula still, and here's our figure. Your base is 3, your height is 2. Your area is half of the base times the height, where the base is this number right here, and the height is this number right here. Okay? So you're going to have one half. What is three times two? Six and inches times inches is inches to the second power. We say that's six square inches. Okay? And we want half of that, which will be three square inches. Three squares fit inside this triangle.